hello guys so uh, in this video I just quickly want to show you a solution to um, Anaconda not working on your system or something so many people have reached out to me that their Windows uh, Windows operating system is not actually running Anaconda I don't know why that is happening but to fix that uh, problem well what I just want to tell you is that you don't really need an Anaconda distribution to you know work in your Jupyter lab or work in your Jupyter notebook server so what you just need to do is just come down to uh, uh, to the to the CMD. Just type CMD, and once you type CMD, and inside your command line, just uh, you know, just navigate into your desktop. I said desktop. So once you navigate into your desktop, inside your desktop, you can create a directory or a folder, you know, that kind of maybe. Uh, handle some particular files or you can just do it directly from there so inside your desktop you can just say okay make uh, make die and and maybe we just call it uh, Jupyter okay so when we call that Jupyter you can migrate into uh, Jupyter and inside Jupyter you can just say okay I want to actually I want to create a virtual environment so if you have virtual environment wrapper uh, installed on your system it's cool if, you, if it's a uh, virtual EMV that you have it's cool so what you just do is just say if you're using virtual environment wrapper make a uh, virtual uh, EMV and let's call that just uh, is called it lab all right so once sorry I misspelled that so make virtual virtual EMV and let's call that lab. So once we type uh, make virtual EMV lab, so uh, the computer is going to make a virtual environment, a Python virtual environment for us, and it's going to activate it automatically. So let's just you know wait a little bit for that to happen. All right, so now we have our virtual environment, uh, you know, uh, spawned up and it's activated for us automatically. So once that is done let's just clean this up so cleaning this up what you just need to do is just say pip install um, jupyter lab no space so once you type pip install jupyter lab it's going to install jupyter lab for you and inside the jupyter lab you are going to get your jupyter notebook your house studio and all those stuff inside it so let's just wait for it to to load up Alright guys, so um, I have all the packages that I need, I have them installed right now. So the reason why this looks like it's a bit fast is because I paused the video, it's not actually fa as fast as it seems. So uh, you're installing, the thing is you're installing a whole uh, a whole uh, working directory. So it could, be, it could be a bit slow. So let's just do something quickly. So what we 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 do is that I'll just you know install something like uh, inside this virtual environment. I'll just install something like uh, NumPy, okay? Or let me just install pandas, right? I think pandas. Oh, sorry, I, I just I typed pip pandas. So let me just say pip install uh, pandas, and once I click, okay. So let's wait for that to load. All right, so now I have pandas and numpy installed. So I guess pandas comes with numpy uh, when you're installing it. So now to test that my store, my installations have worked. So I'll just like to call Jupyter Notebook in this environment. And once I call Jupyter Notebook, a server will be, will be loaded up and it will run my, uh, my browser for me. So let's just wait for that to also run. Um, I don't know why this is taking a, 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 a long time to run but well let's just wait and see okay so now I have my Jupyter notebook loading up and it's coming and here it is so it, right here you can just create a new file and uh, it's gonna be a Python it will be a Python file and inside a python file to test if our uh, numpy and stuff and pandas is actually working i can just say import uh, i can just say import pandas and right here 
I'll just you know run this and see if it runs okay so it runs it runs successfully I'm gonna say import uh, number and run it and it ran successfully okay so that means our installation worked and whatever stuff that we uh, we have installed in this environment it's going to work but if I import uh, let's say import matplot live dot uh, I think I plot so once I, if I run this it should give me an error that no module named matplotlib until I install this package that's when I'll have this module loading up in the virtual environment so that's just how you can actually you can create your own um, you know anaconda distribution you, you inside this place you can actually load up your house studio your Jupyter your Jupyter lab anything that works within the Jupyter lab so that's that's just it guys uh, if you like this video just put a like on it and subscribe to my channel for more things on more of the things on data science and uh, python spss and whatsoever so i have a video that i want to put up on spss uh, very soon so just you know stay tuned to the channel and look forward to it i have so many videos that i want to, i still want to do so please just put a like on this channel to encourage me to do more i love you guys and uh, stay safe in this period all right bye bye